So uh, this was pretty interesting. We just saw this back here in the back. And my buddy Mike, he showed me something similar to this over on the snow ramps over at Snow Creek. Said he'd never really seen anything quite like it. And so this is kind of the same thing here. Looks like a knife just went through here, right? It looks to me possibly some, uh, you know, some, I don't know, movement. earthquake or some kind of movement here has literally separated this, uh, made a crack right down through the middle of this snow. And, uh, almost like it just broke broke it right in half there so that's pretty interesting i'll have to send that video to him too all righty well we uh switched out the old beat up raggedy couch for these ones that were over at the house since the uh the new house was fully furnished which was kind of nice, but also left me with a dilemma on where to put everything, but I'm kind of figuring it out. Got this all uh, a new look for the office here. So it's kind of cozy. Got the TV set up with uh, the YouTube on there. So we can watch, Sadie and Bud can watch themselves on TV. And here's the, uh, here's Lori's space that we're still working on. Um, and we got some uh, fire starting material there. Yeah, I don't read that too much, but uh, it's definitely good for uh, burning. Anyhow, uh, yeah, it's starting to come together real nice. I think Sadie and Bud approve it. They're relaxed. And uh, we're gonna go out and hit some jobs and see what's going on out in the fields here pretty quick. So stick around for that. Sadie's enjoying the couch. <clears throat> and Bud's right here. Where's your sister? So... We are getting the last odds and ends out of the uh, house here. Last little bit of furniture and whatnot. And uh, we actually uh, just picked up this sled trailer, which we're going to be dual purpose using it for a uh, furniture hauler today. And uh, even <clears throat> this trailer came with a bonus sled. So. It's actually a really clean older sled and uh it's kind of cool it's been trailered its whole life so it's like brand new this trailer's uh, a little over 20 foot long so the boys are gonna load up the furniture for me and i'm gonna ship all of the furniture back to bakersfield in this trailer Come on, up, get out of there. Why do you always gotta get in the water, huh? Come on. Here, let's go. I gotta create a little bit more parking here because we got way too many vehicles over here. And uh, so that kind of cuts over like that. I'm gonna square it off all the way to the tank so we can try and park uh, two vehicles wide right here. So let's give that a shot. So now we've got about three vehicles wide here. A huge difference. So we'll be able to uh, have a little bit more parking here. That's gonna be nice. Eventually we'll have a lot more parking, but just gotta get the uh, snow melt going here. Could see the top of that blower starting to pop out over there. Pretty warm today. I would say way over 60.
Looks like these guys got this thing all tore apart over here. We're trying to make some more room for the equipment. I'm gonna tighten everything up and uh, try to make as much room as we can here. The old gooseneck hooked up. Wonder if we should uh, move the big truck back up against the wall again. That's what we were thinking. Is that what you, yeah? yeah? We were thinking about that. I think, I don't know if we're going to be able to get it in with that. The trailer. Now, well, we could put this up against the wall, put this right next to it, put the red truck right next to that. So if you want to get some wings in Mammoth, warming hut's where you get them. Look at those bad boys. And then the Brussels sprouts too, you can't go wrong. That's like one of the best appetizers you could get right there. Typically, when we order pizza here, we're going to get our wings from uh, Warming Hut. All right, you can see the runoff. It's going to be a muddy mess for a day or two, but uh, we're going to start back with this roof today. And our goal is to get hot and heavy on it and get the entire roof finished sheeted nailed off and start running fascia so we've been organizing this site just kind of cleaning up from uh, the chaos that winter caused for us got this garage fairly cleaned out pretty good now still needs a little bit of work but uh, everything's starting to look pretty good Got Ed and Alex here, so uh, how are we doing? Good, real good. What real are they good. starting on? Uh, that beam is getting up our uh, ridge beam. And then the one that's laying in the floor up there? Yeah, the small one. Are we going to be able to set that with the forklift? Yeah. We yeah. Set all these with the forklift. Okay. Cool. Things are looking up. Summertime's coming. So we got to get this beam up. Yeah, we got we got that beam up, and then um, this right here is like a California over, and we got another beam going up for the, for the main roof right here. That's right in the middle of that section. Right. So we frame this. We frame this. Do that fill. Yeah. Fill that all in. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So we got cool. To, we got to put that beam first. Going that way. All right. So we got Marcos and the boys up there starting. And uh, <clears throat> looks like it's uh, going to be a good day. They're going to get that ridge beam up. And we'll start cutting in that fill. And... We gotta go look at our job up on the bluffs and uh, maybe give Nathan a call. I know it's still buried under a lot of snow, but uh, it's getting that time where we gotta get stuff going. I got the parts for this too. I have a donor truck at the yard. And uh, so I'm gonna peel the hood off that, the front bumper and probably the grill. Looks like, oh, and a mirror. And we'll get this truck looking uh, back to presentable again. But uh, for now, we're just going to keep running it. This Ed's truck. 
Where's your sister at, bud? Sadie, let's go. But yeah, it's nice to uh, have a crew back on this. It's been, uh, we've been wanting to get this going for a couple weeks now. And uh, we just, we were so busy with stuff down south and we're just short on manpower, but we finally got a nice little group of guys here. So um, we're gonna start putting this thing together. We're gonna get this thing uh, sheeted and knocked out in the next uh, week and a half, two weeks. You guys want a treat? You want to get a treat? Okay, let's get a treat. We'll get you guys a treat. Okay. Sit down. It's really easy. Sit down. Easy. All right. Sadie and Bud got their morning treat. We're gonna take a look at some scheduling and got a lot of things on the burner right now. Summer starting to come off, so uh, it's gonna be busy, I can tell you that much. We already know it. And uh, I just got to try to keep up with it all. Popped in over here to Kenyon's job. This was the uh, 680 Lakeview project that we removed all that snow on. So as you can see inside, um, they've got it gutted out. And we're just talking to him about this demo that we might um, take a look at here. It's got, uh, this is coming off. This whole roof section here is coming off. And um, they've got it pretty clean. It's not bad. There's a lot here to remove and it's, it's really nothing you can do with heavy equipment because we're on a, uh, a raised foundation here. So this will be mostly handwork and then uh, we'll be cutting it all down and loading it into uh, the truck and hauling it to the dump. In here, we've got footings. These are coming out. Um, this wall, obviously look at this wall, this wall's coming out and, uh, these footings are coming out, these steps. So this is like a full rebuild on this house. This garage is, uh, these two doors. We're going to take this whole face off and that's going to turn into one door here. So we're going to come back and assess this and uh, see what we can do for uh, getting him a good price and uh, maybe, we'll, uh, maybe we'll help him out with this demo. What happened to that? Huh? That thing's ruined? We are here at Jeff's place and uh, looks like somebody forgot to latch the dumpster, but this is a really neat place. It's, uh, it's a shame to see it like this, but uh, we got a lot of trash here and, uh, but this is the main house. We got to get this thing cleaned up. So we're going to work with him on uh, possibly uh, doing some work over here. And this is a bar area, big kitchen area. Um, it's got some, uh, it's like a pool table in here. And that's locked. But uh, kind of in a shambles. It definitely needs uh, some TLC here. So. It's a 
laundry room. I don't know, that's a fr fridge, but uh, it's really nobody here right now. This place has a lot of potential and uh, You can just see uh, it's just a mess. So I think our goal is going to be to uh, get this thing all cleaned up and uh, get this place to where uh, some people are going to want to actually utilize it. So that's going to be our goal. This is where a bear got into that. And then there's some more trash down there. Not as bad down there, but it's pretty nasty inside. So the trash cans here, easily accessible. Uh, it was latched. So I, I just think they're setting trash right outside the door up there. And uh, the bears are getting into it. side of the village here and wanted to show you guys this new project that's going on in Mammoth it's uh, being put up by a Penta I'm not sure exactly where they're out of but uh, quite the project here it's from what I've heard uh, this is going to be the tallest building in Mammoth when they have it all finished but uh it's definitely starting to thaw out and things are opening up and it's a really cool looking project so thought I'd show you guys that that's uh that's gonna be a big hotel probably take a couple years to get that thing wrapped up but they they kind of got into it and uh got caught by the big heavy winter like everyone else did and they're just now getting back into the groove all right so we're up at nathan with uh, maverick construction it's his project and uh actually <clears throat> i'm really surprised to see this material um has melted out like this but i guess being that it's on the uh you know the south facing side the sun's this way so that really helped with that it looks like this stuff's really melting out really good and uh it'll be exposed fairly quickly it's only been a few days but over here we still have a problem so right back in there that hump um that's a sea train that we have uh, with a bunch of material in it and and this is just solid and intact. And this is a long driveway. It goes back this way. Probably goes back there about a hundred feet. And uh, it's really not going anywhere anytime soon. So I'm gonna send this video to Nathan and see what he says. But uh, we're already starting on our other projects like in Starwood and stuff. And uh, you know, we definitely wanna get moving on this one too. I'd like to get this thing up by the fall.
So it looks like this lot right here may have been sold. And I see this big, beautiful piece of machinery here. And uh, I bet you they're getting ready to break ground up here. So this one here was the last house that was built up here on the corner. That's an amazing house with some crazy views of the Sherwin range right behind it. Literally the back side of that house drops off into a huge valley below, which is right here. And then that's, you can kind of see a little bit of Snow Creek right there, the top of those. But this is just an amazing area up here, up on the bluff. And uh, I was gonna get you guys one more shot of the uh, famous snow pit. So you can see how nasty it looks. All that snow's black. And that thing grew quite a bit from uh, what it was. But we'll uh, zoom in on that. But what a beautiful day we're having here today. I mean, it's just calm as can be and warm. It's short sleeve weather right now. And I know everybody that's been up here all season is super happy about that. So we're starting to see a little bit of stuff show up. The snow is really melting fast right now. And uh, just looking forward to getting into summer. We've got a lot of, a lot of projects coming up and uh, in process. So should be a fun, interesting summer. Uh, hopefully we'll keep it as uh, interesting as the winter was. Okay, so I got all the furniture loaded in the trailer here. And uh, today we are gonna head on down to Bakersfield and with all of our furniture in our old house, we're gonna take it down to my shop down there and store it away for possible future use. We'll see what happens. Starting to melt off, guys. Definitely a difference from last time I come down through here. 